Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. We're back, we're back in the garage. Got Simon's power plant here. If you've been following along, you know that I pulled it out to put the brand new CNC um, square port CB performance heads on. Boy, that's a lot to say in one sentence. <laughs> but yeah, if you've been following along, you know that I've, uh, boy, am I crooked? I look crooked. I have to replace or fix that here in a minute. But yeah, if you've been following along, you know I've tore it down to the short block, cleaned up everything, you know, reset the deck height, put the heads on, um, reset the rocker geometry, and voila, we're back to almost a turnkey engine. But what I'm doing right now is I'm uh, trying to fit these high flow uh, CB uh, performance, CB, intake manifolds. And yeah, it's been a little bit of a bugger and uh, I'm gonna kind of show you what I've been doing. So if, if you guys wind up buying these, you'll have a good idea what needs to be done to make them fit correctly. So yeah, hang tight. One of the things I did, I decided to give the, the fan housing and the uh, cylinder tent down here a fresh coat of paint, you know, little kind of like in the uh, new uh, manifolds on here. One thing I'm, I'm noticing is this one right here, you know, it's really super long, comes all the way out here. I think the old one only came to about here. Hopefully the center section will fit. I might have to do a little wackity wackity on the one side there. I guess I could probably put my grommet on here. I'm kind of worried. Uh, you know, I might, might not be able to get in there well and, um, and uh, tighten down the, the clamps to hold the grommet on. But yeah, here's the old ones. And this one went here, and that one went over there. And if you look, there's about four inches difference there, and a little over here. And, uh, you know, these are for sale, by the way, if anybody's looking for, you know, you know, modified set of end castings for fuel injection. Yeah, but these things are big. You can see right here, I am actually touching the fan shrouds. I'm probably going to have to do a little clearancing there. It feels like, you know, that I got a, I got it all the way down. I mean, thing happens is that this, this will want to kind of tilt in as you bolt it. And if you don't get it to set flat, you'll get some air leaks up here and you don't want that. You can see on the old one that went on over here, I did kind of grind on there a little bit. It looks like it might have still been touching. The thing is I worry about is, I know this one feels pretty thick inside here. I'm not sure how much material in here I have to, to remove. This one on the other hand is, uh, yeah, this one actually fit pretty well. You know, you probably get a feeler gauge in between there and there. On the other uh, intake manifolds, it kind of went in that way too. They were, you know, had to remove a little bit more on this side than they did this side. But another thing I'm gonna have to, to work on you know, not everybody's probably gonna have to do this, but the way my setup is, um, probably gonna have to do this. <laughs> These things are pretty easy to put on when you're on the engine stand, because you know, the, the nuts are easy to get at here. Down here, and then this one sides down here, but you know, you can get on them pretty good with, when they're on the engine stand. So if you're installing this, you know, on the engine stand, then put in the car, you're probably gonna be all right. But what I gotta do is I've got ground straps, um, since I'm running fuel injection, the ground straps hook to my coils and also run over here to the you want it you want the I'll try to explain this properly <laughs> you want you want your heads grounded with a good ground from the coils you know otherwise you know the uh, electronic fuel injection just doesn't work you don't get that good spark yeah but the fuel injection you want a good ground on the head you know actually you want a good ground pretty much all over the car and where I have my ground strap placed I, I put them right here on this nut because this nut basically goes right into the head. And, you know, I just can't get a 10 millimeter on there. A little bit of clearance and I can. And the reason I got to do that is because when it's in the, in the car, I have to take that nut off, put the ground strap back on, and then put it, put it back on. This one over here, almost get it on there. And I still have some, some play there. I'm gonna have to get the old grinder out and uh, start doing a little grinding there. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take these manifolds off, show you how much clearance I had to do to the, the cooling tin. Now, I do gotta compliment CB Performance, because when I purchased these manifolds, they actually sent these nice uh, 10 millimeter nuts. You know, they take a 10 millimeter wrench, you know, and they, and they go on the, you know, the eight millimeter stud, which comes in very handy, because these, these, kind of, these are kind of nice to get in the nice tight spots. They're about the same size of the 12 point nuts I like to use, the chromoly nuts that I like to use. I've seen people uh, actually advertise these as for a header nut too, and it'd work really good on the headers. We'll remove this off of here. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like those ports. But look how much more I had to remove. 
You know, I, I run, uh, these tens have been with me for a long time. I've run IDF manifolds with them, which those fit almost in the stock location. Then I went to the IDAs with the big beefy um, intake manifolds, which uh, basically had the same, I was running a set of uh, CB performance heads before they started CC importing and I had them all hand ported. Those were the, I think they called them the ultra magnum heads. <laughs> so, you know, I had to cut, cut these out, but you know, I didn't have to cut them out as much as they are now. I mean, there's like no metal here. Let's see if we can get in there, we get a better look. But yeah, look at that. That is wide open. I guess my only concern with it being that wide open is, you know, the cooling effect of the 10. So we'll, we'll find out um, basically on the manifold blocks, that whole area. So I'm sure it's not gonna be any different than it was before. Just cross our fingers and hope that's the case. Well, one of the things I had to change out here was uh, the screw for <laughs> the fan housing here where that bolts to the cooling 10 or the cylinder 10. I was running this fat headed one with uh, two washers. I like to use a thicker washer here, just kind of helps hold everything together there. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> you can see right, even with this screw head that there's not much clearance in there. And I went along and uh, kind of marked where I think I'm gonna have to take off here with the grinder. Hopefully I don't have to take off too much. Yeah, this is the time uh, where yeah, I'd prefer to have a mill. <laughs> my mill is a die grinder with a carbide bit in my hand. <laughs> and I guess if I do go too far and break through, I do know a couple of good welders. <laughs> so wish me luck, I'm gonna get at this. I'll show you guys the ground straps I'm talking about here really quickly. And it's these things right here are kind of built and they run up here and I got them grounded It's like I got them grounded right into the uh, coil pack here. I don't remember if that runs to the ECU or not. So I got them actually grounded with the coils. One other thing I want to point out here is I did this earlier when I was just match porting them. I had to uh, grind little indentations in here on this side. Got this point on the head here that, uh, you know, where they got it machined down, but the head, uh, the manifold was still hitting on them. So the object of the game here is just to go a little at a time. So I ground a little off here and a little off there, and we're gonna try to fit it and then see what happens. See how much more I gotta take off. Oh yeah, and I took my injectors off, this be easier to work with. I'm getting there. I'm gonna take a little more off I can see kind of in the same spot. Look at the marker and mark it again. Somewhere right around in there. All right, now we gotta try that nut. Almost forgot about that. Put it all here, see? Probably could almost eyeball it. And... Like I said, I'd like to be able to use a socket. Oh, I'm gonna clear it a little bit more, but I can get it on there. That's nice. Kind of show you what I'm working with here. See how to have that chucked in there earlier. So I can get the both pieces. Yeah, just like this. <laughs> Use a, <laughs> sacrifice one of my old welding gloves for a nice little uh, soft uh, clamping device. But yeah, I just got the small carbide bit and a die grinder. And you grind away. <laughs> All right, let's try this fitment again. See if we made any progress. I like it, I like it a lot. Kinda tell me I'm on my base there. Oh yeah, I can pinch my fingers nicely. Now let's try the nut. I think I'm gonna have to look for a longer extension. Either that or I might have to see if, uh, ooh, that went on there nicely. I wonder if a larger socket will fit. I like that, let's see if I got a larger. 10 millimeter socket over here. Can't remember if I brought one out or not. All right, let's see if this one fits. Oh, barely. I don't, I don't need much more than an eighth inch drive. 
And be careful, put too much torque on there, you bust the ears off. But yeah, on to the other side. All right, didn't take too much off there. So we'll try, I'll fit it now. This side was uh, pretty close. So hopefully this will be a quick uh, in and out. Yeah, that didn't take much at all. I should probably stick the injectors back on and see if I'm gonna be able to work around them. Yeah, pretty much I'll uh, put the manifolds all on before I put the injectors on anyway. So I guess, I guess it's as long as I remember to do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I like it. Let's leave this on here for a second. I wanna try my grommet down over here. See what kind of a problem that's gonna be. See if I can even get it on there without taking it. I might have to take it off to put it on. <laughs> yeah, gotta take that off to put it on. Cross your fingers and hope this works. This is gonna be tricky. Hmm, <laughs> that ain't gonna work either. Those aren't gonna go through there. Hmm, new things are always a good learning curve. And how in the heck are you supposed to put a, a grommet on there when it won't even fit? That's in all kinds of ways. I'll be. Hmm, we'll have to work on that. I don't have the other center section. Jeremy still has it and he's still welding it up, but I don't know. I don't see how a guy's supposed to make that work. Man, I'd like to have that have been about that much shorter. And I got a little finagling to do. <laughs> I can't do anything until I get the center section of the intake uh, back, but uh, I've got the end castings <laughs> working. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty happy with the way I got them working right now. But yeah, there's always something, especially when you're dealing with new high-performance parts, so I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. I couldn't go to sleep until I figured something out here and I've got this uh, different grommet something I used to run before it's just a straight one not a bubble one I normally like running these bubble ones here at this joint you know just for helps with the I don't know in case there's any flexing or anything going on plus they look cool this is one of the old blue ones I was running before Let's see if you guys see it down in there it fits in there a little better like I said I still need to get my other manifold in here ah but this one depending on where i cut my manifold i think that's going to work a lot better see how the manifold on how high it fits in there and you know there's there's a little bit of play in there so if it's just a little lower it should work pretty good but yeah i better give jeremy a call and see where he's at because i'm getting kind of ahead of him but yeah there's an example of what's going to be needed on clearancing these uh high flow intake manifolds from a CB performance. <laughs> yeah, it's not, a, it's not a whole lot, but just like anything that's aftermarket and uh, high performance wise, there's always something that's gotta be shaved, shimmed, or filed. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm getting really excited to see how well these, these do perform. I mean, just by looking at them, um, they definitely look like they're gonna move a lot more air, and that's kind of what we're hoping for. I'm hoping to be able to get a little bit more RPM out of the car and uh, yeah, I'm hoping I'll get a lot more power out of the car. So <laughs> next to come up is going to be uh, yeah, getting everything back in the car. I may, I may, uh, I'm thinking about raising the turbo just enough so I can get the oil to rerun the oil line. I want to kind of run it over the header. Right now I'm kind of going, I'm kind of going underneath and around it, and you know the drain line's kind of touching, and I have a hard time keeping it away from the header. I don't think that's a good idea heating up the oil <laughs> before you get it back into the car to cool it. <laughs> but yeah, until then, keep shifting those gears, keep cruising, and always enjoy the ride. I'm out of here. Before I was just another guy.